uh, foreign currency, the dollar. So thank you very much. Here's Mike. And the Fed, fucking handle broke. I'm still gonna drink coffee. And I'm still gonna talk about the Fed. Derek J. Freeman is, uh, I've, known, I've known of Derek for a couple years, and I uh, had him on my show a couple weeks ago, and that forced me to really, you know, just get a good look at all of his work. Hi, Tom. Glad you're here. Look good, I like it. Um, Derek's work is incredible. All right, has anybody seen Victimless Crime Spree? Watch it, there's not enough of you that have seen it. It's amazing. This guy is going out and committed all the victimless crimes possible. He's got a rap sheet probably longer than, I don't know, John Guy, whatever. Yeah, he has a crazy rap sheet, and he looks super sharp. Derek hosts a, a show called Peace News Now. He's, uh, he's, just a, he's just like a walking billboard for what you can do as a free person. And uh, truthfully, I, just, I can't get enough of his work. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Derek J. Freeman. heard of Ron Paul, you've all heard of Ron Paul, and uh, he introduced me to gold, silver, and what's going on here behind the Fed, and I, I have a feeling a lot of you are in the same boat. When I heard about what is going on here, and how I'm implicated, and how every time I swipe a credit card, I'm creating new money and making my friends and neighbors poorer, I knew I had to do something about it. I had to change what I'm doing. I had to change how I'm living, so that I'm not using their system. They've set it up so that we're all a part of this game. But fortunately, I've got some good news to share with you. You can walk away, and that's what we're all here to celebrate. So, when I heard about Ron Paul and, and gold and silver, I said, that's the solution. I'm not going to use the dollar. I'm going to trade with my friends, businesses, neighbors. I'm going to trade silver, value for value. If I can trade in silver, I can be free from the Fed, and then I can show others that path, and we'll all be free from the Fed. Well, I've done that for a few years, and that works okay. Trading in silver with my friends and local businesses enhanced my freedom and kept value in the community. Well, Ron Paul recently said, and I hope you all heard this quote, there will be alternatives to the dollar, and this might be one of them. But he wasn't talking about gold and silver. Okay, well, guess what he was talking about? That's right, Bitcoin. He is excited about Bitcoin, and why is that? Because it has all the qualities of gold and silver plus some extras that make it extra beneficial. Ron Paul said that if people start using Bitcoin en masse, quote, It'll go down in history as the destroyer of the dollar. Does anyone else think that's totally badass? So I didn't choose dollars. Dollars were forced on me by government because dollars are how the man does business. Gold and silver gave me an escape from that. And now Bitcoin has accelerated that escape beyond what I could have even imagined two years ago. Bitcoin businesses are popping up all over the world. We've got some here in Philadelphia. Bitcoiners are using their phones to buy things at tens of thousands of stores across the United States. And new waves of entrepreneurs that Jim Babb mentioned, small business owners, have been born from this new Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin knows no borders. It requires no ID. It works whether you're in Philadelphia, Paris, or Barcelona. And since the Bitcoin network lives online, it's as permanent as the internet. My favorite thing about Bitcoin is that no one is in charge. It's completely decentralized. Yeah, rock on. Which means there's no central point of failure, no central point of attack. If one node goes down, the others keep the blockchain online. And some of you may have read in the news this week that a wealthy entrepreneur just put a Bitcoin node in space. So good luck government trying to knock that one down. <laughs> You can even run one of these nodes yourself. You can look up the code yourself. It's all open source. How does that compare with the transparency of the Fed? Bitcoin has been used for charity. Join the Bitcoin Reddit page and you'll see every day there are uh, generous 20-somethings, 30-somethings who have just stumbled across this new technology, uh, enhanced their own wealth, and they want to give it to the, the people who need it most. The young children who are uh, suffering of diseases, the homeless, 
Hoodie the Homeless uh, put clothes on hundreds of homeless in California this Christmas season. Sean's Outpost could eradicate homelessness, make it completely voluntary. People could be homeless if they want to be, but now they don't have to be. In Fort Lauderdale, acres of land were purchased with Bitcoin. Now the homeless people can live there. It's just been given to them. You can. This is your property now. You can buy your groceries with it, anything, using apps. So get started. I started a Bitcoin Philadelphia group so that people can learn how you can use it. There are a lot of good questions, but I can't answer them all right now. We meet up every Thursday at 30th Street Station at 6.30. Come if you have questions. You won't leave with them unanswered. The website is Bitcoin PHL, as in Philadelphia, BitcoinPHL.com. And just to close on this, you know, when you're faced with a bully, in my mind you have two options. You can fight or walk away. In my mind, the bigger man is the one who walks away. And Bitcoin, gold, silver, alternative currencies, they give us that power back. Walk away. Walk away from the Fed. You don't need them. You're free today. Thank you. Derek J. Freeman, ladies and gentlemen. Derek J. Freeman, ladies and gentlemen. so much, but, uh, you know, bringing the help with my friends up here to, to tell you what they're doing in their lives. Jim always has a great perspective, and, you know,